Well, let's go on with the journal then. So I'll do this flap. That was that square piece of paper I put in on the diagonal. So I'll just glue this down here. Oh. So I hope you are well. Oh, I had a little question, actually. It was quite interesting. Um, it was about the, you know, you see bits by the side of me. And they was wondering whether, you know, I collect them before the video or, you know, things like that, really. Well, what happens and why there's bits, I might see this pile here. Okay. When I'm searching through things, yeah, at the side of me, is in a bigger pile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's my pile um i come across things that i think might go yeah with the journal so i separate them into another little pile all right and this is where all these sort of that is going to be on this pocket anyway but these sort of things and i think oh yeah that'll go that'll go and i sort of try and incorporate it in here you know and sometimes i'll have a little pile here that i've might gone through this box and thought that are all go together so I'll put it in a little pile here and then make a cluster or something with it so you know it's a, it's not really prepping as such but it's just when I'm looking for something else I might see that so I tend to separate it so that's how I do that's why it's there and I might even not even end up using it so I'm just going to stick some lace down. I mean, sometimes I might prep a page, you know, when I've found things that really go well together. So I will put it in the pile, you know, just to put it in the pile to save a bit of time, you know, because you know these things do take time. And then I'm going to stick this bit down. Quite a bit of glue on there. How's that thing? So I'm just thinking of maybe cutting that down and using that somehow. We'll see. See, I found that. <laughs> I thought well, I'd put that in another little box <laughs> as a maybe. <laughs> Which I've got these. That'll look nice in there. So I'll put that there. Oh, that might be too big, that one. I'll use that, I think. That's quite nice match to that. Okay, right. Let's decorate this a bit. Give it a good mix. I think change. I'm going to brayer that. I haven't brayered for ages. I better get my clean one now. Because <laughs> that one is like. Oops, sorry. Major mucky. And then I've got a half decent one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can take them off and wash them, but I actually quite like it looking like that, to be honest. That's just deli paper. Okay, right. I'm going to just do that. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> as long as they don't come up because we haven't sealed it. 
yeah, not quite light enough. I'm just going to use my other. This one's a bit thicker. Oh, that's sorry. I should show you what that one is. That's that one there. Let's take some off. I used to do this with my drawings. That comes up. See, that's prick stick. Pricked stick. <laughs> yes, I, keep, I do actually say the wrong word. <laughs> Didn't realise I did until someone said that they um, listened to it on the, with the subtitles going. Yeah. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I do actually think I say that. Not meaning to, but I think I do. Yeah, so when I used to do my um, uh, portraits and, you know, whimsical characters, I used to, honestly, I used to, because I didn't like something, I used to put that on and send everything in the background, bring the late, you know, bring the person back and then not like it and then push it back again and bring it back. And that's where I learned how to draw faces, I think, continually doing the same one because I didn't like it. <laughs> Right, it just needs to let that dry. I don't mind bits going on the back, if you know what I mean. I actually quite like that, so I'm going to leave that. And I'm going to overstamp a little bit. And we'll see what happens. I think this one now, for some reason, needs a little bit more white paint in it. I find it's a little bit too tra transparent for me now. So, but like I say, what when we had that 4th of the 12th, so it's going well and there's lo still loads left. But I will, I need to just doctor that up a bit. Okay, and while that was drying, I thought, oh, I used my posted postcard stamp that I've had, oh gosh, six months and I haven't used it yet. Um, Penny Black. I'm just wondering if there is a number. Here we go, it's... One, I'll just do that and then hold it there. Okay, by Penny Black. All right, so this is slightly bigger, but that's okay. We can um, trim that down. If anything, that will, will work to our advantage because we don't have to sort of match it all in. Yeah, and I'm using Versafine Vintage Sepia. I'm hoping it would be strong enough. I don't really want to go to black some reason I just don't feel like using black on this um, I'm going to stamp it first because I haven't stamped this one yet so let's put that in there oh, that's fine There we go. I smudged a little bit though. I don't think I needed to press so hard. Let's have a look. I don't think so. I think it's quite a good stamp. So usually the bigger the stamp, the harder you press. But there we go. You didn't need to. And that reads better. Yep. Again. There we go, perfect. Not much pressure. Put too much pressure on. That's all right. Got them to use. <laughs> Let's put that one over there. And then I'll just go and trim this down a little bit and I'll be back. Okay. <clears throat> Right, so what I thought was, I'll show you a way of 
you know, say, because this is smudged, I thought I'd let you see it. All right, I won't go and get another one to do. And I'm going to cover that. I'm going to cover that over there. And then I'll put some up here, a little bit of washi tape. And who would know? It's all nice and smudged because too much pressure on the stamp. Yeah, I haven't I don't use wood mounted what wood mounted ones very much. I used to years ago, but not so much now. But you can get them fairly cheap now because people want the other ones. Oh, Yes, Andrea, it's upside down. <laughs> there you go. Didn't shout loud enough, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> Let's put that there. And I'm going to put this underneath. Just to show you, it can be salvaged. I mean, this bit, this bit was all okay, so it's only um, the little tiny words there. This is not too bad, but I thought I'd carry on with the placing that there, and then over stamp it. There it is. So I'm just going to stick this onto this block. So I use this a lot. So just in case. Yeah, I'll give that a second to dry. And where was that going? In here, wasn't it? And that's going to sit there. Okay. Now, on with the next thing now. Okay. Oh, and this is a prime example of how I pick up things that I see and think, oh my gosh, that's going to go there. Okay, these are some of the lovely flowers that Carol and Farney, I think it is, that made for me. And oh, when I'd done the giveaway, she made me some packs of these and they're absolutely lovely, but they were so nice, too good to use. <laughs> and then I thought that would... That would look nice there, ruffled up, and maybe a little flower on it. And I thought they'd go quite well. But So I've got to use you. <laughs> They're just so nice I've kept them since I've done the giveaway. Yeah. So this one we shall ruffle. I mean, normally I do this on the machine, which I still will, but I will glue it down for ease of use. So, it only work. This only really tends to work with cotton, so because it's thin. Which I don't want too much because I haven't got enough, so I'm going to spread it out a bit. red me ruffle out and it seems to lie quite nice and flat this one which is good okay 
So I'll just go and stitch across that now. Oh, if if the fabric's okay and you don't want to stitch it, you can do what I've done there. Then you will go along here and you'll put a little tiny dab of glue under each one of those and it'll stick down. Okay, but again, it's got to be fabric. You test it on something else. Don't put it on something that's important. Okay, just in case it bleeds through. All right. But it's worth trying. I have done it. There we go. There we go. And that's done. And I just put a little bit of washi tape here. One word there. Some fibres here. Um, so I thought this usually says collect beautiful moments. Yeah. But because I've already got a crate there, I cut them cut the first bit off, collect, and I'm thinking that we're going in there, I'm going to go there. So, yep, yeah, I just went ahead and, you know, unpackaged it, um, and I've also taken the bits, because I had gems on there, and I thought, I'm not wasting those, they'll go onto something else. There we go, how beautiful is that? Yep. Yeah. So I'll be using those as well, and I'll put them in another plastic bag that I got. Well, actually, I'll put that together. Yep, I thought that looked nice. And I only used a bit of fine fibres, all right, because it's going under that tuck spot, isn't it? And I inked up the edges of that, and I also slightly inked up the edge of the flower just to give it a bit of definition, all right, because this is going under there. We don't want anything too bulky, or else it won't stay in there. Okay, and it's going there. Oh, and this bit of washi tape here was I think I accidentally ripped the page yeah so washi tape went there right so now we've got to do something this side I know that would look good it really goes doesn't it mm, and then something bright in there I'm going to do it yeah <laughs> Let's do it. This was one I made for the, um, the winter journal, I think. I got, had it left over, so. Um, didn't I have a, I had a couple of journaling cards out, so. That would be okay. I think I've got other ones though. Just wondering if that one would be better. I don't mind that there actually. No, I'm going to leave that there. I'm leave that one where it was. Okay, so that's just going to go there. But at the moment, I'm just going to tuck that under that. Well, oh, that's drying. Okay, and that's that done. All right, let's go to the back flip because I haven't done that yet okay that's that nice bit of eco dyed and I thought I'd have a bit of a flip on this one okay but what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down yeah but I'm going to create a pocket as well okay so I'm only going to stick down along here and then this bit here and keep that bit open all right which you'll see me do it I'm going to do Let's just ink up that a little bit more. And that. It's 
place it first before you swish it down. Okay, this needs to come up just a little bit. And then... Put a little bit more glue here. It's nice, but nope. No, no, that's a better colour. I bet this is too wide. <laughs> oh my gosh, no. Right, well, that's going there, isn't it? Okay, and let's strengthen that pocket out. If not, nice piece of scrapbooking paper or any paper to coordinate with what you're doing works nicely. Okay, so what you've got now, okay, is a flip with a po pocket there. Put that in there. Well, that looks nice there, doesn't it? A bit of brown paper or sticky tape. Okay, lines on the back. Well, that's a original eco dye paper as well, so and that can go in there. Okay, okay, let's sort this out. I've just stitched around these. And opens out like that. I'm just wondering if that's a bit thick there, that's all. Just want some maybe some writing paper here, there, there. This can, um, I mean, yeah, that would go there, but 
I'm just seeing if I've got any deep pockets that I need. I know I've got some back there. Do oh, I'll take that off now? And again, if it slips down, all you do is put a tiny bit of paper clip up in there. Yeah. Which I will put one in, I think. Just to show you. Get some small paper clips or the Tim Holtz ones. And what I do, I just angle that up there making sure you catch the pocket which I'm not doing properly at the moment there we go like that then that stays put and they lie really lovely and flat so but I haven't done anything to the back of those yet so that can go there and I don't think it needs anything there because we've got quite a bit going on Okay, and this, I was searching for that, wasn't I? Um, no, that's fine. deep pocket somewhere there we go that's gonna go in there and this can go somewhere else it's quite thick though I can add it but it might just bulk in the journal out a bit much I've got that as well I'll leave that for now It's going to go there. That'd be small. Smaller paper clip later on. I quite like the way that's looking all together. Yeah. That could go there for now. And maybe a piece of writing paper. Yeah. Just fold it up which could look quite nice. Cut a bit of that. Put that in there and then you've got a nice big piece of paper. Yeah. Right, I think we'll get on with the centre page now and I'm going to do the Tim Holtz swirl stamp. I'm just going to make sure I haven't got too much ink on here. So I'll just put it on the back here. There's quite a bit there, so take some of that off. <coughs> because I just literally want it a little bit, not much at all. Okay, like that. That's perfect. And then I thought one of these stickers here would look nice if that's open like that, sticking out there, and then one coming down here. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that down. Just do that. Okay, and got plenty there. Space now for things to be written on. There we go. That's that done. Let's get see how big it's getting. <laughs> Right, um, need to do sort out all this area and this area. Okay, so shall I do the back first? I think I will take this off now. 
keep popping things in here <laughs> to see what I wanted. Okay. lace along here and then a nice something you know flowery in that pocket there something bright let's have a look what lace I've got That one up there. Not quite big enough. And that could work quite nicely. So, yeah, I'll do that one up, I think. So I think I'm going to go like that. And then put something here. And then that can go in there. I do feel... I need to protect this a little bit because I have a feeling it's going to get marked up. So, yeah, it's a little tiny bit of ink there, which, yeah, I can cover that, but I'm worried about things staying in this when somebody uses it. So I might be mod podging that, which I think I am going to. But actually, I'll use the sealer. It's the same sort of thing, it's acrylic sealer. I just need that to be protected. And what I'll do, the end of today, I shall do the cover, okay, at the back. I just have a feel that's gonna pick up ink or something, whereas if we do this, then you can wipe it clean. I'll do that. Dry that off. This is cotton lace, so it won't shrivel up. <laughs> okay. okay, that's all dry, and then that was a Tracy Fox's ticket there with one of my tickets from my fern. Fern and something. Oh gosh, I can't remember. Mushroom, wasn't it? Fern and mushroom kit. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, that was one of the tickets I shrunk down, so I thought that'll go, oh, and we'll use a bit of this. And as I was looking for things, I found another piece of that, and I found some of this that I thought would go. Then I looked at some words, and I thought these were stamped out, um, printed from the computer onto just a copy of paper, and they've been, they've been backed with the double-sided sticky tape so I inked them up and I thought that would go there so that's 
you know, it's usually I find things as I'm trying to look for something else. That's a bit too raggedy, that bit. But these are all little tiny bits. So I think we can use that and that will cover that little mark up. And if that mark was there, we might have done something that wasn't there. We might have done something totally different. So sometimes having a mistake or a mark that you have to cover up and then leads on to other things. So I always call them happy accidents. Again, I do my three. Yes, yeah, so I've got that up there, that there. And I always feel like I need something down here. And I think the best thing I found is words or something like that. Okay. Because you don't want an embellishment as such. And time to finish because I'm getting all gunked up. <laughs> I'll go and wash my hands. <clears throat> I'm going to put them sort of in the middle ish, I think. Because that's that side, so I felt as though I needed something here rather than again on the side. Yeah. And that's protected, all right. Now, and that's that. So we've got to go to the front. And we've got to sort out what's going on here. So I keep putting things in the front. <laughs> oh, that'd be nice there. That, that'd be nice there. So I've got quite a bit, actually, but I might not use it all. liking that there but then I've got that there so if anything it something needs to be up there I think I'm gonna go for that there I quite like that okay let's see what we've got here did I leave that open no so I don't need a big one. Oh, I do need a big one here though yeah okay, let's have a look This is just a piece of journaling card. It's <laughs> a piece of paper. That can actually go in there. This actually, I was going to put over the page. But I'm not going to. That's going to go in there now. But I'm going to stitch around this. Ink it up and stitch around it. Don't need to see me do that. This has come out of nature's walk, was it? Or back to nature, one of those. Yeah, I made some cards that sort of opened out that way. Because they are handy, because they flip over the page. And that's what I was going to do with this, but like that. I'll show you. Let's pretend. It's not staying there, but so they go over the page like that. Yeah. I'm just wondering. I might just sit that in there. I think that's quite nice. Then we need something down here. Well, I must have used every single um, thing for my when I'd done the fern and mushroom journal because I had nothing. But while I was searching through my ephemera box, you know, as you do, look, I mean, this is what happens totally random things. I mean, I've got these birds here, look, but pages. <laughs> I got all the, I mean, card there that I'd done it a previous time, so that's going to go in my pot that I need to use up. And then I've got this. I found that. And I found loads of these. And I found all these are totally random, see? You know, they were stuffed in the box with journaling cards. So they're all together to use now. I found that little envelope. I think that was gifted to me so that is going to be used and I had these which that one I've used in this journal similar and then I found these lovely rub ons which I thought they would work really well so I might use them anywhere in the you know to decorate in a minute just to see if there's any blankness yeah I found loads of small tickets and everything but I mean that one's going to go 
same color. So this tends to be birds and everything in here, but I'm just going for different tones. That's going to be too big, but I could cut that down. Ooh, hold on a minute. I think that's graphics fairy, actually. That could go there. Yeah, I've had loads of little ones. And I think that would work nicely. I think we've got it. Oh, I forgot this side. I've got loads this side. <laughs> let's have a look. Well, I'm quite liking all this. All right, let's have a look. They can go within the journal somewhere. Let's have a look. Yeah, I've got to use that, haven't we? be there. I need just something smaller here. Something with a something light on. Oh, I've got that as well. Just a piece of paper look. <laughs> Might work. I think it's gonna it's the same as that one isn't it? Yeah, I think for sure they're the graphics fairy. They need inking up and everything, but no, I'm liking that as it is. Could just do with something a bit light in the bring a bit of lightness in. Well, and I think that's it. I've got a whole bundle of stuff I haven't used. To. There, I think that's about right. Loads in there. Quite fun things too. So that's it. So all I've got to do with this is to finish finish some of these off, you know, with inking up and everything. And that's it. I think that's it's great. And I'm gonna leave that as it is, I think. Or I don't know whether I can bring in a yellow flower <laughs> I can you know I'll leave that like that perfect and flowers really did come in handy for that so what I'm going to do next is like I said I'm going to seal all the outside cover and leave that to dry and then I'll stitch around everything and then I'm going to go through and look to see if I need to add anything else but I have a feeling it's actually you know I mean here you know a word here might look nice and then that will be fine there because it's totally empty where I could do with just something but very small Yeah, this, I, I think I'm going to tone that down with a bit of gesso. I'm going to do that now because I do feel it's too dark. So. Okay. Yeah, just went a tad too dark. 
And by me doing this, then you can see what it comes out like when I show you the flip through. And you'll see me again soon. Okay. Thank you very much for watching then. And see you very soon. <laughs> Bye.